Right, there we go. So I think based on what happened last night, the biggest problem, I believe, was the um, sharing the screen. So what essentially was happening last night that everyone was struggling with was the actual sharing of the screen once they got logged in, but, but there was a confusion right before the sharing of the screen. So we have to reiterate, every coordinator should be logged in the coordination translating Zoom account, not your personal account. And when you're logged into that account, that's when you get to the second step. The confusion would be, is that you would be going to the conference webinar and logging in with that username and that password. If you are the translator on your own translation account, that is what you're logging into and you're going to be sharing the actual information that comes in. So for instance, if we want to use the example and I'll practice it, I'm going to click share screen and click portion of the screen. This is pretty much where you would go. You would be going to either Pastor Joshua's personal page or the ministry page, depending on where his meeting is. Now, the good thing is about this being like in the middle of the page, as you see I have, it eliminates all your Facebook messages from popping up. You don't have this distraction. So what you're gonna to wanna to make sure that if you're going to do a screen share, your screen is big enough to where if you do have notifications turned on, they're not showing up. So if you hit start on this video, and I haven't muted, because that's what you'll have to do, you'll have to hit start for his, his training that he did. And of course, if you're doing a portion of the screen, you can just drag your mouse left, right, up and down. And it will accordingly shrink to what you're looking at. Now, if you notice, I have headphones in, and if I unmute this, you're not hearing anything. You're not hearing the sound in this, and I'm doing it like this on purpose, so then you would understand, well, what happens if I'm sharing a video and you have headphones on and, and you have a computer with speakers and you got all your audio coming in through your ears, you're not hearing, I'm not hearing the video and you're not hearing the video because of how we have the sound set up. So at that point, you would want to pause your video. If you have another person available, you'd want them to test it in the meeting. So that means you as the coordinator hears the meeting and then the other person that's the guest can hear the meeting well. So then you have a two person viewpoint to decide what sounds good for the meeting. So in the case of this, you have two options. You would click on your microphone. Well, is it a problem with my microphone? Can anybody hear me? Um, and then the other piece is you would want to check your speaker. Can anybody, you know, properly hear the information coming through and what's actually coming through or not? The other thing is, in the case of what, what I do when I do these trainings, I unplug my headphones. So now my headphones are unplugged. And then on my computer, what I do is I come down to my computer here and I make certain my audio, I make certain you can actually see my audio because if you can't see my audio and hear my audio, as you can tell right now, I have it muted. So my computer audio is muted. Now I've unmuted it, but it's at 18, so I need to turn it up. You hearing that? Now here's the thing. Every video, if it's a pre-recorded video, or even if it's Facebook, the volume of your device is going to change depending upon the settings of that video. If the video was recorded and it was extremely loud, then you would have to lower the video audio of the device that you're using. Now that I've done this, if I go back and move my screen share back 
to here, so you're looking at this and not at my audio on my computer, you would then want to hit play. Great is our God. And then lower this down. And change it to where your voice and their recording isn't too bad. Now this is the part this is the part where everyone got confused, is the screen sharing in the Zoom account of the Facebook. So what we're gonna practice today is I'm gonna let every one of you go to this, go to, I'm guessing go to this video. So what we'll do is we'll copy the link and I'll post the video of Joshua's and every one of you can practice doing a screen share on your own. So I'm going to stop the screen share. I'm going to make certain that all panelists can do screen sharing is turned on. And now one by one, if you're wanting to, you can practice hitting share screen, going to the link that I just posted in the chat. Or if you're not looking in the chat, you would have to go to Joshua's page. And then you can share that video that you see. And then we'll all see it. So then we all can practice that together. I think that was the biggest, biggest difficulty from last night was figuring that step out. So if you have questions, what we can do is I can demonstrate it again if anyone is confused. So I'll ask all of you to unmute so you can ask your questions. All right, so John's gonna go. So noisy, man. The fan? Someone, yeah. So it's Chris that's sharing right now. Let's see who's coming. Oh yeah, sorry about that. That's okay. <clears throat> hey, Chris has used that. Zoom for a while, just like myself. I've been around since it, I guess since it started is the right term. <laughs> yes. And, uh, and I'm actually looking for, the only thing that went crazy is after I pulled up the video, Mm -hmm. uh, everything disappeared after I pulled up the share screen video. Uh, my ability to get back and control everything is gone. So what happens so when the share screen happens, it ends up being a little bar at the top of your screen. So you have to scroll the mouse okay. to the top of the screen yeah. to get it to pop down. Okay. I see. So I need to go full screen here. Uh, and, and now I've got the, I have to take, uh, to the weekly Friday night worship, prayer, deliverance, and testimony. So this is the time that we want in. Okay. So then, uh, to stop sharing that screen, cause I have, oh, there it is. Okay. There you go. Okay. That way somebody else can try. Now, now if somebody okay. has the soundboard and everything and you're doing all the professional, you can pull in both audios through a soundboard without taking your headphones off. But if you're wanting to do basic, all I have is a computer. That's, what, that's probably the yeah. easiest way to do it. I could probably do that pretty easy where um, leave the earphones in so we can just do that and not have to worry about any background noise coming through. You know? Exactly. So. So when you click the share screen, you'll have to click the uh, share computer sound, that box. Uh, uh, and I'll show you what that looks like now, too. Uh, yeah, yeah, if you can do that, do that. Okay. So when you do a portion of the screen, and it's on the main one, too, there's two boxes. You're going to want to use this box. Ah, uh, okay. 
and I know not everybody sale. has headphones and earbuds and whatnot. So if they're in the room, there's oh. not a lot of background noise. Hey, James, why I cannot do it anything on my, la on my, on my computer? Are you ready to go? Okay, try, fam. Yes, I will use like this. I like this one. And that's another possibility. If some people have their earbuds in, I've known there's a couple of people that are doing the share where they're on the main webinar and they're just taking their other device and shooting it to their meeting and they're not getting the echo. Joshua has got 10 to 15 devices on Zoom simultaneously with no echo. So I know that I could join this meeting on my phone and not have the echo. So that's the other housekeeping tip is if you're going to do this without your earbuds in, meaning you're mute, because you're not going to be mute, you're going to be translating and talking what you're hearing. You got to be in a room that's mostly quiet. If you have a fan, um, you know, want to try and push the fan further away, or you do what I do, I went and got mini fans. So I got multiple tiny fans in my room instead of one huge fan that's really loud. So this one's at my feet. And then I have a little bit bigger one to the far right of me. But I think as what we demonstrated this Friday and last Friday, logging into the interpretation Zoom and then sharing the regular meeting was what was the problem. So if you're logging into the actual webinar conference and trying to do it from that way, that might actually backfire. But um, what you'll need to have is the fourth housekeeping tip is if there are problems and you're in your interpretation Zoom, you could step out of your room and then go in another room and log in personally into the main webinar if you're trying to get someone's attention. Or we're gonna try to facilitate some of these conversations through the coordination Facebook group. So say there's a problem and you can't hear something, you can't see something, we would just go here and share, share a message and say, I need help. And hopefully somebody would be paying attention. And someone will. I'll be watching these chats for most of the trip. Probably about 20 hours of all three days I'll be watching. So if I don't respond and you don't see somebody seeing this, so you see somebody saw the message, you actually can click and see. So we'll communicate here. And if we need to create another group, because there's 50 plus people here, we can do that as well. So the housekeeping tips are you know, on top of that are, you know, have good lighting where you are in your room, make certain, make certain that you are uh, well, well fed, well, well enough water, because I know talking long periods of time dries you out. Um, I went and got throat spray because I've been talking for the last 16 hours at work. So I have to put on throat spray because my throat's drying out. So, and I'm tired of drinking water. Um, but you have to be able to make certain you have the right bits of information so then you're not confused. So does anyone else want to practice the screen share portion right now that wants to get more confident on that? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to unmute everyone. If someone isn't unmuted, I'm going to ask you to unmute so you can let everybody know that you're going next. So then So who wants to do the screen sharing next? Okay, I'm angry with the one. Hey, James. Yeah, I'm using, I'm using it on Mac right now. Yes. And a while ago, I am using in Mac iOS, but I, I cannot do it. Mm -hmm. How can you help me? 
Are you on a Mac? Yes, I'm in Mac right now. It's Mac Pro, right? You think it's a Mac Pro. Thing, I think so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So can we download Zoom on iOS? Yes, you can download Zoom on Mac. You can download it on Windows. You can download it on iPhone. You can download it on Android. Yes. Because uh, when I uh, I using on Mac much better, I have no need to carry my my iPhone. I no need to carry my iPhone. Okay, so help me. Which guy? Yeah. yeah, right. I go to app. Which one? I have to go so to what you can do, what you can do is log into your Facebook and click the link. Yeah, you can click the link again. I'll send it to you personally. Okay, you send to me. I will go there. Thank you, Jim. No problem. And then it will give you the prompt to install it. Sir, uh, I want to ask that uh, how we can make a co-host. Okay, so to make co-host. Yes. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you, Lim. Uh, so, I I was I was trying very hard this one whole day when you are sleeping five hours. I go to see my co-host. They teach me everything. They test. Hey. Eh? Ah, no, no more again. Now I have to come back here. Now, now, now my, my, the other screen cannot ready. The other laptop cannot. So I'm using this one now. Uh, I, I just follow up. I just want to follow up. They are going to help me. I just, ah, uh, uh, now come back again. And the, the laptop come back again. Now I'm using two now. I'm using two. You, you are using the computer audio. I'm using the computer audio. So, uh, from time to time, uh, Pastor Jeremiah, I will update because the two person is helping me and I'm catching up little by little. Okay, that's good. Uh, I, 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 must, I must learn up. I'm, I, I apologize. I'm too old, but Pastor Paul, I say he is 70. I only you, 65. You're not too I old. To I, will, I will talk to you all the way until Christmas. And you will get it by Christmas. That'll be your I Christmas will. gift. I, I, no, I cannot fly out. I, I, I want to use this, uh, this technique to reach wow. the people. I, I really mean that. I really mean that. I must, I must learn from you mm -hmm. and to link up all that the sun has shined to them. The sun has shined to them. You understand? Yeah. We just keep practicing until yeah. you get it. Now, uh, the question yeah. about co hosts. I made a few people co-hosts. What you do is you click the word participants at the bottom. And then the participants should show up. There should be eight people. Mm -hmm. Where do I go? Where do I go? There's eight people there. Um, the bottom Lim is, Lim and Kadiv is, no, is not a co-host yet. So what you do is you move your mouse over their name and you click the more. When you click more, I saw I saw participant A, Pastor. Mm -hmm. So what do I want now? Okay, I'm gonna make them close. So for the other limb account, you would click the word more, and then you click make co-host. Mm -hmm. uh, last time, uh, I tried a lot, but I was unable to do that. Okay. Uh, I can make a host, uh, I can transfer the host to others, but I just unable to make a co-host. Yeah, I'll, I'll have to make you a co-host for that to work. Because um, you're the only one that's not a co-host yet, Kendall. Everybody else is. But 
Yeah, you just added the attendees. Somebody just brought the attendees in. I noticed that. But that's the two biggest things that people will have to understand is taking attendees, moving them in as hosts. But yeah, um, the only one that's not a co-host is you. So I'll make you a co-host now. But what happens is when you choose it, and I'll show you what that looks like too. And I'll do a screen share. So when you choose to make someone a co-host and you click that more button, it's going to give you a prompt like this. It says, do you want to make them a co-host? Or it'll say, do you want to make them a panelist? You're highlighting your mouse to the right of this. It'll say more. There'll be two box, box, boxes, one and two, and it should say more. And there'll be a drop down. And then you have the option to do co-host if you're on that one box on the participants or attendees. Do you see the box now? Yes, yes. So on CamDiv, I have to choose more and make co-host. When I do that, mm. the box comes up and it has to say yes. Now if we had attendees, it would be the same thing with attendees. You have to click more, make co-host, start video, and so forth. And the one another thing, uh, the without clicking on uh, the waiting attendees, how they can come automatically in the group? Uh, yes, they'll automatically show up uh, on your meeting and that you provide for them. So you're so you're going to want to have that chat box up. You're going to want to have the participants up to see if they're having any dialogue if they don't have a microphone on because some people automatically join that's the other thing you have to be careful of if you're doing translations and all these multiple amounts of people show up to your meeting and they're not on mute you'll have to click what's called mute all and mute all is at the bottom of the screen i'll show you what that looks like <laughs> If you end up doing this, you'll have to say mute all. And this would mute everyone in red right here. Because if you're doing translations, you're not going to want anyone else to be able to talk. So the housekeeping tip is if you're busy translating, you might want to have someone else in the meeting with you that can monitor the chat because it can be quite difficult if you're having to focus in on your on your thoughts on what's originally being said and you're trying to translate and it's difficult to type and talk at the same time it can make you lose your train of thought so that's like a big that's a big thing that people struggle with Anyone else want to practice the sharing screen portion now? And one more question, sir. Sure. Actually, I have the you know non-paid persons, mm -hmm. so it gives only forty-five minutes. Okay. So, so do do you uh, have it, access to the interpreter Zoom? Because if you use your personal Zoom, the personal Zoom you, you may not have a paid account. There should be a licensed account per each language. You should have more than 45 minutes. Yeah, yeah uh, by my personal uh, Zoom accounts, just only for five, 45 minutes. Yeah, and the, we have interpretation accounts per each language, so mm -hmm. you won't have to worry about using your personal account for that. Oh, yes, yes. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. So, which one, which language are you translating? Actually, 
Okay. So does anyone else want to practice this mobile day? So, uh, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you now. So I am tra I am uh, going to translate in Mathili. Okay. I will have to check with uh, Pastor Joshua if we are going to have that one. Um, we just see what the list is. Let me pull it up real quick. All right, so here's the list. Here's the list of languages that we have right now. Now, as you see, we have one for Armenian, but we don't have a Zoom for that yet. So what we have is Arabic, uh, Indonesia, and Malaysia. We are, we're going to have one for the Philippines. We got Burmese. We have a Cantonese, Mandarin, Vietnamese. We have French. We have Hindi, uh, Japanese, Khmer, Korean. We don't have Portuguese or Russian yet. We do have a Spanish. We have a Tagalog and Urdu and the Vietnamese, Cantonese, Vietnamese, Mandarin, Vietnamese, English. So we have to find out. You'll need to ask Pastor Joshua if he's making a account for that language, because I don't see that here. We have any other questions at this point? Hello. Hello. Uh, can you hear me, Pastor Jeremy? Yes, I can hear you. Okay. Uh, yes, I uh, I want to ask as Pastor Chorhan, he uh, 